Hi and Assalamualaikum to Madam Diziana. Okay, so this is the presentation for our proposal for MIT 271, Radiobiology and Radiation Sepertik. The title that we choose for our proposal is Why Radiography is Considered Safe. This proposal is prepared by Marina Muzaffa, Hadira Nazifa, Amiruddin Arimi, Akma Shafiqah and me, Nurul Iliana Asike. Hi and Assalamualaikum. My name is Hadira Nazifa binti Muhammad Rizal and I am from HS1123B. Today, I am going to start the proposal presentation with the background of the proposal. In a bit to promote radiation protection to all the community and to fit in with the World Radiography Day, the Medical Imaging Student Association or MISA have been organizing this type of program every semester. It's sought to inspire and widen the public eyes to take part and practice radiation protection. Why is Radiography Considered Safe is a program that is expected to be conducted online throughout this October to February semester. This event is to nurture the public that radiation protection should be applied throughout any radiation procedure. This program is conducted suitable with a group of students from HS112, Diploma in Medical Imaging, Faculty of Health Science, UITM Selangor Branch, Campus Puncha Alam. To get the e-certificate and merits, Participants need to collect all the three codes that are shown during the program with Google Form registration before the program starts and after it finish. The program is conducted to spread the excellent knowledge or awareness about radiation protection among public people, especially students in UITM Puncha Alam. The purpose of this proposal is to apply budget for this program and the approval from the Dean and the Student Council representative or Majlis for Klampaja with the Medical Imaging Student Association or MISA to hold this Why is Radiography Considered Safe program. That's all from me. Thank you and I will pass my presentation to Noor Ilyana Asikin. Thanks to Hadira. Hi, my name is Nurul Ilyana Asikin. Now, I will explain about the objective of this program. Our main purpose of program Why Radiography is Considered Safe is to spread an education about radiation to people. Reason behind this is to increase their knowledge in this field by giving a necessary information about radiation protection at the radiology department. We telling them what is radiation protection device and also a detail of safety in using it. Second, as a strategy to stop and hesitation. As a way to reduce and hesitation, we provide them with a principle of radi radiology department has, has used when performing an X-ray procedure to prevent harm to the body. We telling them what is a justification, what is optimization and also a limitation of a dose. Third, this program is one of a way to strengthen the bonding between medical imaging student and also a other student from a various uh, faculty. Then, as a platform to plus a message about the level of radiation exposure to patient when performing an X-ray examination, it is because we think by giving them an information about the exposure dose, it will change their perspective about radiation and effect of radiation, especially about the cancer. The last objective is to spread the benefit and risk of not applying the radiation protection device. Then. For the benefit of this uh, program, I will pass to the next presenter, Udin Asari. Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Muhammad Amiruddin Arini bin Asari. I'm from HS1123B. And now I'm going to talk about the expected benefits for this program. There are four keywords that we have highlighted for this particular program. First is changing perspective. Um, by conducting this program, we hope that we can change pers people's perspective uh, about the X-ray examinations which will provide more benefits than harm. Next is knowledge. We truly hope that we can increase the knowledge of people about the safeness of radiography. And the third one is making uh, a sphere. By the end of this program, we hope that we can make people less afraid of the X-ray examinations and the radiation emitted by the X-ray machines. And last but absolutely not least, we uh, hope we can tell the truth to come to the false information about the radiation emitted from the radiography examinations. That's all for me. We move on to the next point. Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Marina Piti Muzaffa. We are targeting 
all UITM Puncha Alam students as for the target of participant. This is because even though we are studying in the same campus, we hardly even know what each other are studying about. So we want to take this opportunity to approach other students to teach them about the real fact on radiography. As for the event detail, we are planning to do this event on the 8th of November 2020 as it falls on the radiographer day which make it perfect for a radiographic talk. We are planning to do a two hour long event for the students to avoid the student from getting bored from a hours long talk. And we are doing this event on a online platform Waybacks as it can be easily accessed by any student from any places. Hi and Assalamualaikum. My name is Nurul Ahmad Shafika binti Abdul Majid from HS1123B. So, the theme of our program is the skill to extract the spirit to care. Related to our name and aim for this program, which is why radiography is considered safe and to spread an education about radiation and to reduce the hesitation in extra examination among students. Okay, next. This is our finalized program poster that we will use to attract the audience to join our program. We will share this poster via WhatsApp, Instagram, Telegram, and other social media platforms to attract more people from various courses too. As you can see, we have included all the details needed for our program in this poster. We will invite Mr. Sawal Marsaid, the President of Malaysian Society of Radiographers, as our speaker. This program will be held at 8 November 2020 from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. using WebEx platform. Apart from that, we are using a QR code as a method for our registration and the merit will be provided for those who join from the beginning till the end of our program. Hi, back with me. So for the tentative, we start off with registration from 9 to 9.15. Registration of participant via Google Form for Merit Collection. So when students join our event, they will gain themselves a merit. So we move on with opening speech, starts from 9.15 to 9.30, opening speech from the project manager and a brief introduction of the invited speaker, Mr. Sawal Marsaid, the president of the Malaysian Society of Radiographer. Then we move on to the invited speaker, Mr. Sawal's talk from 9.30 to 10.30 a.m. Then we'll end the talk with a quiz from 10.30 to 11 a.m quiz on the speaker's talk for the participant via Google Form. By participating in this quiz, students will gain themselves another merit. So when they sign the registration on the beginning of the event, students will get one merit and another merit by participating in this quiz. As for the ending for our event, uh, from 11 to 12, we will check for the right answers and we will search for the most correct answer. Uh, there will be three prizes, the first, second and third places. And we will announce the winner from 12 to 12.15 through social media and emails. So I will pass back to Miss Akma. Hi, welcome back with me. So this is the list of the organizer for this program. Start with Puan Nurul Dizana binti Nur Azman as advisor, Marina binti Muzaffar as program director, Hadira Nazifa binti Muhammad Rizal as vice program director, Nurul Akma Shafika binti Abdul Majid as secretary, Nurul Iliana Asikin binti Muhammad Aris as treasurer. For any further question, you can find us at radiographysafe at gmail.com or you can contact us at 014-9517-1068. Okay, uh, next is our committee members for Event Management Bureau, Muhammad Amiruddin Arimi bin Asari as a leader, Atira Akusha binti Muhammad Anwar and Nur Izati binti Razidi will be assigned to handle invitation. Ayu Alia Suhana binti Zarudin for registration. Nur Damia Batrisha binti Muhammad Fakurazi and Siti Nur Zamila binti Rabu for program. 
Formati Media Bureau, Syahrul Nazdur Zaini bin Muhammad Syahari as a leader, Mustaqim bin Muhammad as MC, Muhammad Amiruddin Arimi bin Asari will handle multimedia and Rul Akmal Shafika binti Abdul Majid will handle publicity. Last but not least, Welfare and Special Duties Bureau, Nur Nabila Nasihah binti Muhammad Nasir will be leader, Certificate and Participation will be handled by Fatin Fazrina binti Marzuki and Nurin Fatina binti Shamsul, Student Merit and Committee will be handled by Muhammad Nabil bin Jamal Abdul Nasir. Hi, we meet again and uh, now I'm going to talk about the budget for this program. <coughs> The first one is program facilities. We don't need to use any budget for program facilities because we don't use any facilities from the faculty and we just use an online platform called Webex. Next, for food and beverages for both student and VIP, we don't need to provide them food and beverages because as I tell you guys earlier, we only use uh, an online platform which is Webex. For honorium fee, we will give a solid 300 ringgit to the speaker, which is Mr. Sawal Mansai. And as for the prizes, uh, we will need a solid 225 ringgit because we will conduct a short quiz, which is the first place we will give 100 ringgit, second place we will give 75 ringgit, and the third one we will give a solid 50 ringgit. Next, for report and pictures, we don't hire any photographer for the program because we just need to record the program and use it as uh, evidence that we conduct the program. Next, for publicity and multimedia, we don't hire any professional designers. We just use our own energy and ideas to create the poster, the template and etc. For emergency, we will spare a uh, 50 ringgit in case something happened. And lastly, for souvenirs and for speaker, we will give uh, 200 ringgit as a form of appreciation for his time and energy. Uh, for over and the overall total for this program will be around 775 ringgit. Okay, this is our gun chart. This gun chart is showing the progress has been taken to complete this assignment. It takes about 21 days for us starting from 13 October until 2 November to finish this proposal. To tell the truth, it's not easy to uh, discuss about this project because we can only meet uh, literally. But with everyone's cooperation, we still can finish uh, this proposal before the deadline of submission. Special thanks to our lecturer, Madam Diziana, for giving an opportunity and guide for us to done this proposal. Okay, as we can see here, this gun chart is illustrate that the longest time has been taken is to organize the commit of program. It is because we need a time to find a people to volunteer in this program. Then, to organize the background of this program also takes time because we are brainstorming to produce a good idea to making this program is success and memorable. I think that's all from me and now I will pass to the next presenter. Next, I will continue my presentation on executive summary. Due to radiation accident, the word radiation brings a clear image in mind about how dangerous it is to the public people. Nuclear power plant accidents that happened in Chernobyl, Ukraine on April 26, 1986 and radiation leakage at a nuclear power plant in Fukushima, Japan resulting in an earthquake and tsunami on March 11, 2011. It creates a fear and phobia in ionizing radiation. People have the mindset that it costs them cancer and they do not have the knowledge that they are actually exposed to radiation every single day. Why is radiography considered safe is an academy and scientific program with a target of 150 participants. This program is open to the public but specifically targeted UITM students. The date picked to conduct this program is on 8th November 2020 in conjunction with the World's Radiographer Day that falls on Sunday through Cisco Webex due to no limitation of participants. The expected benefit is the participants get us to know why radiography is still available in the medical field. It can correct the impression and get to know how the medical workers protect and reduce unnecessary radiation. The benefits to the students are they get e-certificate and two merits for joining the program and participating in a contest in the middle of the program.
The aims of this program are to improve their knowledge regarding radiation protection, including their actions and their devices. This program can reduce hesitation in x-ray procedure and understand the benefits and risks of not applying radiation protection. We hope UITM can accept our proposal in order to conduct this program. That's all from us and I hope you have a good day.